Right, good morning. It's Sunday the 6th of December. Our top story today, the UK's chief Brexit negotiator will travel to Brussels this morning to resume talks with the European Union about a trade deal. Both sides say significant differences still remain. One source described the talks as the last throw of the dice. Our political correspondent Chris Mason has this report. Now, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge will today begin a, begin a tour across Britain by train to thank key workers. During the three-day trip, they will be greeted at pre-arranged stops by care home staff, school children and volunteers, as Greg McKenzie reports. In the United States, Donald Trump has addressed a rally of supporters in Georgia, where the Republican Party is hoping to hold two Senate seats in a runoff vote next month. Mr Trump still refused to concede he had lost the presidential election and vowed to return to the White House. Our North America correspondent Peter Bowes has more. He's now it's a story that just mm. keeps on giving. Right. Now, scientists from Japan's space agency have recovered a capsule containing dust and rock from an asteroid about 180 million miles from Earth. It landed in Australia and scientists hope that the material, which weighs no more than a tenth of a gram, could help to shed light on how the universe was formed. Mark Lebel has more. It... We have it on good authority that the BBC breakfast tree goes up in the morning. Now, have you put yours up yet? No, I haven't, uh, but it might be a job for this afternoon. Oh. You? Well, we did ours yesterday. I usually oh. like a glass of fizz. Yeah. When we put them up. Um, but yesterday, because I was working today, I resisted the temptation. Oh. Well, well, I'm a bit okay. of a lightweight. How about you, Chris? Well, uh, interesting you asked that, Seema. Mrs F is in big... Take the jab. It's interesting to note, isn't it, that the uh, Oxford AstraZeneca uh, vaccine, which obviously is one of the three that is, is coming through, is actually going to be made here anyway, so that... Yeah. Or, or there will be a factory here, so yeah. there will, we will have some vaccines in the country anyway. Uh, shall we have a look inside the yeah. uh, inside some of the papers? This is inside the Sunday Mirror today. Um, this is uh, talking about the uh, the train, the three-day train trip that we've been talking about, which uh, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge... And we know how much the retailers are struggling at the moment. Just mm. last week, various companies, Arcadia, Debenhams, etc., going into administration and liquidation. Um, this is a photograph from uh, the South Atlantic. It's, it's been taken uh, by an RAF aircraft um, near South Georgia. Um, it's a, a photograph of uh, the largest ice bloating in the South Atlantic. And, Roger, have you been listening to any music over lockdown? A little bit, not a lot, but a Anything in particular? All sorts. Wow. An eclectic mix. Well... <laughs> No Coldplay? A little bit of Coldplay. I like a little Coldplay. bit of Coldplay. Well, this piece uh, is about how many times did I listen to Coldplay? It's about stars reveal fine peace of mind by Lauren Hill. So various songs um, helping people to get through these difficult mm. times. Music Barlow does and, help. Yeah, Gary Barlow's got a new album out. It's time for Christmas as well. They're, they're all yeah. bringing them out. <laughs> Um, it's uh, 19 minutes past six now, and the changing face of the NHS over the last 40 years has been captured in a series of photographs which were taken by a former paramedic. I like this story. Mm. Chris Porsche started his career as a hospital porter in 1974 before joining the ambulance service and has spent decades snapping pictures of colleagues and patients. Now, as a tribute to the NHS, he's compiled them all into a book, as Emma Bow reports. No, See, now, if they brought terrible. dad dancing into the Olympics, oh, I might stand a oh, I'd love Don't to see. Start. I'd love to see you break dancing, Roger. Yeah. yeah thank you, Holly. <laughs> Do write in if you want to see Roger break dancing. <laughs> um, it's half past six now. Stay with us. The headlines are on the way. We'll talk a little bit about that uh, later on in the programme. It's uh, 26 minutes now to uh, seven. Let's get a look at the weather forecast. Uh, Chris is uh, with us. Morning, Chris. Hi. Thanks very much indeed. We'll catch up with you a little later. Cheers, Chris. Now it's time for Survival to the Brink and Back, which follows veteran explorer Robin Hanbury-Tennyson, who spent weeks in a coma battling COVID-19.